Hey there internet friends, Larry the Music Guy here. You're probably watching this video because you own a Behringer X32 system and we're going to be talking about updating our current USB 2.0 only sound card to the X-Live, which has two uh, SD card reader writers in it. Allows you to record up to 32 tracks simultaneously. So basically, if you're running in your uh, X32 to run your sound system uh, for your band, you can literally record every gig to the SD cards, and then they record in a WAV file. You can then basically take the SD cards out of the back of this sound card and then import them into your either Windows or Macintosh um, operating systems, and then your favorite software of choice. I use Cubase, Pro Tools, whatever you're using, you basically download those WAV files into your editing software and then you've got control over every single track of your live performance where you can put a really nice mix together. So I'm very excited about uh, getting ours installed and start recording practices and recording live gigs and uh, it's going to make recording the band so much easier. You no longer have to have a computer hooked up to it. So. And then one other thing I'll talk about is it also does playback. So if you wanted to send a MIDI command to the Behringer X32 and you had some background tracks recorded on the SD cards, you can actually access them uh, via MIDI command and start hitting play and play to some background tracks. We're not going to use it that way. We're going to use it strictly for recording. But uh, today's video is about uh, installing it. And uh, we're going to get right after it right after this. So, I know it's highly unusual for a man to pick up the uh, the manual and installation card and actually read what's going on in it, but I think anytime you're looking at doing firmware updates and anything like that, don't just rely on whatever you see on YouTube or any other place that's kind of showing you how to do things. I watched a few videos already, and the first thing this thing tells you to do is update the firmware on the X32 system itself before you even install the card. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. We're in the setup section of this, and we're on the very first tab for global. And you'll see firmware is 3.07. So I've already gone to the Behringer website to the X32 download page uh, where you can download the firmware for the X32. We've got that right here in a USB drive. Now I've gone and labeled, I've done two different drives and the only thing I have on it is the firmware update file. I'm just trying to keep it real simple here, people. No confusing, you do not want to miss, uh, download the wrong firmware or mess something up in your system. So I've got one file on this and then I've got one file on this USB for the actual X Live. I'm sure it's gonna need a, need a software update as soon as we install it, so. Here we go. So I'm just gonna plug this into our data audio file there. We are still on the same screen. We're gonna to toggle down to update firmware. And it's pretty much the only firmware that's on there. 4.04.1 and we're going to select it's going to say do you really want to update the firmware and reboot the console yes we do so we're come over here say okay There you go, it's rebooting. Welcome to firmware version 4.04. .04. Pause. 
pull that USB drive out. And on to the next step of looking at the new X Live card. All right, let's open this back a little. Guys, remember whenever you're touching a circuit board for the first time, you want to make sure that you don't have any static charge. So touch something that is metal. So if you've got any kind of static electricity, you discharge it. Okay, here we are, got it out of the package. I always like to set it on top of the uh, anti-static bag, just to additional safety precaution here. Well, oddly enough, the uh, instruction manual does not address anything about a battery backup that is on there in case you lose power. Um, it will allow the uh, circuit board to basically properly shut it down so that you don't have a corrupt file. So it's not meant to keep recording. Obviously you lose power, it's no longer going to record, but what it does is it allows it to finish up the recording and close the file down properly without it being corrupted. So don't get anxious when you get this because the battery does not come with it. It is a uh, 123A, a CR123A battery. Here, I bought a lithium version just because you don't want to put something in there that's going to last quite a few years. So there's this little collar here that is on the board that you got to pop off. I'm going to pop it off with two hands, just one second. So I got the little hold down collar off. That's what's going to keep that battery in place. You'll see that there's a plus right there. So we're going to put the plus side of the battery, which is the, the nipple side there right in there make sure it's all the way down now that the battery's in we're gonna put the clip back on just, oh, you can hear it snap and it's in there secure and ready to go so we've got the board ready to be installed with the battery backup in it and you'll see that I've got the uh, the X32 rack is off, so now we're going to go to the back side of the rack and pull out the old card and install the new one. Alright guys, because this is in a pretty tight space in this rack here, um, I may not be able to video all this, but here's the original USB audio interface. There are two screws, one on the left right next to the power, and there'll be another one over here. Phillips screwdriver, I'm going to go unscrew those. And then I'll gently pull out on those silver sticking out knobs. That's so that you can pull on each side and pull the card out. So I'm going to go grab a screwdriver, get that done, and then we'll come right back. All I've done now is taken out those two screws. You'll see the screw is missing. And I'm just going to gently do two things here. Disconnect the USB. Actually, when I pulled on the USB, it actually came out real nice and easy. But there's a USB cable that's plugged into it. And now I'm going to pull out the board. Considerable difference of their makeup on the board there. So, Okay, we're going to get ready to install the new one. So I've got the new board in there. And I'll caution you that there are rails on each side, inside there, that you got to make sure that the circuit board goes into those rails and you'll know when it's in there because it just goes in there real nice and neat and easy and then you just push it in you'll hear it kind of click in like you just heard it's in there we just need to put the screws in what we have to do here is uh, insert the SD cards and just like most SD cards you'll feel it go in all the way and kind of seat in and then we lift back out you'll feel it kind of basically seat into it so I got two class 10 SD card 32 gigabytes so now the cards are in there go around the front and fire it up all right I'm gonna plug in my USB card and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna power this down I'm going to put my phone down for a second here, but I'm going to hold the USB 
switch there button, excuse me, I'm going to push down the USB button right there while I'm turning on power and send it into booting to the USB drive so it's updating. So it's just looking for the XLive card and then it's updating. All right, update completed. Please switch off. Come over here to the power. I'm gonna switch it off. I'm gonna pull out the USB card. set up and you'll see that we've got a new firmware update the s17 down below there so we are all squared away updated firmware on the main x32 updated firmware on the x live and now we're down to trying to figure out how to use it thanks for watching larry the music guy channel where we talk everything music from a musician's point of view Future videos will be talking about band related topics, recording, writing songs, gear reviews, and any other thing we find darn interesting about music. So if you find that darn interesting, subscribe, ring that bell, and leave some positive comments down below. But most importantly, remember to guitar done. Yeah, yeah, yeah.